Okay, in today's video, I'll be running the R36S handheld video game console, running the PlayStation Portable emulator, and I'll show you how you can uh, improve the performance of the PSP emulator. So first thing you'll need is you'll need a OTG USB-C adapter and a USB keyboard, which I have right here as well. You need this to get into the emulator settings to make the changes. So basically, I'll start this game. And I'll improve the performance of the game. Because this game, this uh, video game console is not optimized to run Sony PlayStation Portable. Because the hardware is not that great. The performance is not so good right now. Let's see if I can improve it. I'm going to press escape to go into the menu. Go to game settings. From continue, go to game settings. Press B. From graphics, go to here. We could change a number of things like frame skip. You can do frame one frame skip. You could also skip buffer effects, which would improve the performance faster, but may cause some may cause draw issues. Let's see, upscale type let's try that press A go back to continue much better performance Okay, that's a lot better using those hacks. So we do have some problems here with the graphics. Let me go back to escape. There's a lot of stuff that's missing. Go back to game settings. Try this again. Enable disable uh, scheme, a uh, skip buffer effects and skip GPU readbacks. Let's go back. See, as you can see, that background didn't appear when I enabled that. And the performance definitely does suffer when you have this background. Let me go back. Let's try different settings. See if I can improve it a little bit. So skip GPU readbacks. See if that improves it or not.
Skipping a frame definitely does improve the performance a little bit. I want to try something else. Let me press escape. Try game settings again. I don't want skip buffer effects because that messed up the graphics. Upscaling texture. Let's try XBRZ and see if that makes a difference. Antistropic filtering would definitely slow it down so it's off. So we could do show FPS counter. Let's see what happens. Fifteen FPS, not so good. skipping off and let's see what we get with frame skipping off getting about 31 FPS skipping frames does improve the performance however it does make it very choppy I think this is very acceptable in terms of like performance. Well, let's see what I got. 30 frames per second is excellent. So the settings that I set it with at was skip GPU feedbacks. Upscale is XBRZ. That's about it. Everything works. So that's how you can use um, 
the configuration menu to change the settings for the PSP emulator so you can get um, better performance. That's pretty much it for this video. If you found it helpful, you could leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if you have any thoughts, you can leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.